What's going on guys? We are back with another video today and uh, it's actually the day before the Wisconsin walleye season opener here in northern Wisconsin. So in just a few hours we're going to get out and uh, we're going to be able to chase walleyes in the Wisconsin Northwoods which is awesome. It should be a great day this weekend if you guys are getting out. Um, I don't even really know when this video is going to be posted. Probably in a couple days. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Anyways, today what today's video is going to be about is uh, I'm just going to kind of break down my opening weekend or my spring walleye setups here. Um, both rod, reel, line, and bait. Kind of my opening lineup, right? <clears throat> and uh, hopefully it's beneficial for you guys. Hopefully you guys like this. I know you guys like a lot of technical talk on this channel. Um, a lot of what I like in rods, reels, line, baits, what I'm looking for. So today's not going to be so much about location. We might throw in a few locational tidbits depending on um, kind of what presentation we got here. Uh, but we're just going to get right into it. So it's no secret um, that live baits obviously used a ton in the spring and that's because it is unbelievably effective, right? Um, there's not a lot of times I use minnows besides very late in the fall and then very early in the spring. I don't really ever think a minnow is 100% necessary in the spring, um, but there is oftentimes you get a lot more bites fishing a minnow. So because of that, we're definitely putting um, a jig and minnow rod in the mix here. And this is a 7.3 medium light fast action Elliott rod. Now, most of the jig rods you guys want to be fishing, especially if you're fishing live bait and pitching up shallow, is generally going to be something medium light. And I really like this 7.3. It's got a lot of play in the tip. It's got a very soft tip, which is something I talk about a lot with a jig and a minnow. And this is because a lot of times when those fish pick it up on the bottom, you want that fish to be able to load that tip out so you can detect the bite without the fish detecting you're there. And uh, that's one of the biggest things there. And this is an awesome rod for really whether you're throwing quarter ounce, three eighths ounce, you know, eighth ounce even. Um, I got this one rigged up with a quarter ounce Google Eye right now in gold, one of my absolute favorite colors. And if I'm fishing, if I'm going to be fishing like very quick, um, pitching that jig in the middle, you know, kind of a long ways and working it back real quick across a lot of these flats tomorrow, which will probably be like six to like 12 feet deep. I like that quarter ounce because I like to be, have the option to fish quick, right? And uh, a lot of guys want to go eighth ounce, and eighth ounce definitely has its time and place. We'll get to that. Um, but if I'm fishing this quarter, this 7.3 medium light um, is definitely the go-to. Now, all the reels I pretty much have, um, besides one, a Pissy Fun Carbon X 2000 on there with 10-pound braid. And then, of course, we always get asked the question, what were we using for fluorocarbon leads? I run a lot of like 10 or 12-pound fluorocarbon leads for most of my walleye application stuff. And uh, depending how clear the body of water is, it might, it might be two feet long or it might be six, seven feet long. Tomorrow the lake I'm fishing has probably got about 10 feet visibility, so I got about a five foot lead tied in, which will pretty much work anywhere. Uh, but extremely light setup, extremely great for detecting bites and throwing jigs on live bait a long ways. And this is kind of a great all around finesse rod, honestly, in the experience I've had with it um, so far this spring fishing. So that is the first live bait setup we're gonna be fishing. The second one, which I'm very excited about, um, and I've only got to play with a little bit so far. This is a seven foot light fast. Now this could almost double as a crappie rod. It could definitely be a, a, a float fishing crappie rod, but it's extremely light, extremely lightweight rod. And uh, the light action, it is definitely softer in the tip than the medium light, which we were just talking about, as this is a light. And you get that same tip load. You get a lot of flex in the tip of this rod. Um, which is great for number one throwing very light jigs a long ways and number two fishing for very finicky fish that pick baits up very soft and This one I got tied up with an eighth ounce and this is my pick structure apart rod, right? Um, and, and you know up here in northern Wisconsin We're gonna be catching a lot of fish tomorrow that are probably 15 inches to like 24 inches If I was going on a green bay, this would not be the first rod I'd pick um, But it's like, so lightweight that I actually paired it with the size down the pissy fun 1000 carbon X and it just kind of scales everything down, makes everything super light. I mean, this is like unbelievably feather light. And with an eighth ounce, I'm not looking to cover a million miles of water with this. I'm not going to get on a flat and just go, 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 go. What I want this eighth ounce for is a lot of times, like tomorrow, our, our, uh, it's supposed to be like 71 degrees and uh, bright sun, which a lot of times, if a lot of fish are up shallow, whether that's walleye, smallmouth, whatever you got sitting up shallow, those fish get very kind of skittish, especially if there's not a lot of wind. And that's something you notice pretty much everywhere you fish in the spring. So this rod's gonna be perfect for those times if I you know, get on a point, I've caught a fish, or I know there's fish here and they're just not really responsive to a lot of other stuff. I'm gonna put a live minnow on this and uh, this eighth ounce Google Eye jig. 
and uh, I'm gonna bomb it out there and I'm just gonna fish this specific spot and make cast after cast I'm gonna fish slow and with this light action rod I'm be able to throw this very light jig um, a long ways if need be and if those fish are picking up very soft and on top of that it's just a, a feather light and super comfortable to fish with and you can literally feel everything in a rod this light so um, although it's probably not designed as a walleye rod I'm actually really excited to um, definitely be using this I've been using it for like some other finesse bass type stuff applications and uh, I can tell you it's going to be absolutely perfect for this I'm definitely excited to use this one tomorrow and again 10 pound braid 10 pound fluorocarbon leader I tie it in there and that is the eighth ounce Google Eye jig on there. Another question I guess I guys I get a lot on live bait stuff. I almost always like to run a long shank jig. Um, I just feel like you you hook up better than you do on the short shank stuff. Um, I've just kind of always felt that way. But the Google Eye's got a great um, great jig hook for doing that. You're not going to bend it out. Um, that's my setup for working that real finessey type. You know I'm definitely going to be putting a fat head on there. This real finessey pick the structure apart type rig here. Now, the next one going down the line is probably the best all around do everything rod that Elliot makes. And uh, this is their 6.9 medium fast. This is definitely just like the power fishing. I feel like you could put a lot of different baits on this rod and uh, uh, just run down a bank and you know catch fish with it. Uh, but this one, basically what I got on here is a quarter ounce. This is the swim bait Google Eye head here. And this is the new Tickle Tail um, by Kalins. And uh, one tip, I guess, you know, this tickle tail, I've been catching a ton of fish pretty much everywhere I've gone with it. And I fished everywhere from a half ounce head uh, for walleyes in deep water so far in Green Bay, um, all the way down to uh, a quarter. And uh, if you're gonna be fishing something light, what I like to do, these appendages are great. You can definitely see them moving the water and it almost gives the bait like an airplane effect when you pop it. Um, it almost makes that bait glide a little bit more. But if you're gonna fish on a very light head, either an eighth or a quarter, what I do is I just take some of the appendages off the tail and it actually gives that bait a lot more roll. Um, and this is honestly probably the one I'm gonna be throwing for 99% of the day tomorrow, especially if the fish are eating it all, because uh, you can just fish this so quick, calls fish in from a long ways, and a swim bait definitely gets big walleye bites, hands down. And the reason I got this paired on this jig head is because, um, you know, like I said, if, if we're getting big bites on this, the hooks on these Google Eye swim bait heads are second to none. I mean, they're, I don't even know if you guys can really get it to focus that well. There we go. Very, very good hook. And uh, these things do not come off the jig at all. Um, very sturdy plastic. And honestly, <laughs> this one I was actually fishing with probably several times over the last week for smallmouth. And uh, it's the same plastic, extremely durable swim bait. You could easily fish, you know, as long as you're not around pike probably, uh, several days with the same swim bait and catch, you know, 50, 100 fish on them. Incredibly durable bait. Uh, but yeah, that, that little tip, just taking those appendages off the back end, just right around the tail, um, definitely gives you more action if you're fishing on a very light head. If you go up from a quarter, it doesn't matter. The bait has great action. Um, but that's just one little tweak I like to do. In the 6'9", like I said, very versatile rod by Elliot. Um, it's kind of, you know, if you could just have one, this would definitely be the one I was going to get. And, uh, I mean, you could, you could throw a lot of different stuff on this. <laughs> it's kind of what I'm getting at here. Um, extremely versatile rod. And uh, I'll kind of go one model away from here, and I'll show you what I got on that one and why I'm using that rod. But again, Pissy Fun Carbon X 2000 on that. 10 pound braid. So the next one I'm gonna be using is my favorite all around fish catching plastic. It's been around for a long time. It's the Kalen's Jerk Minnow Jr. I just got this rigged up on the Google Eye head. And uh, I, I really like gold jigs. That's why I got this one on here. But the rod I'm throwing this on is a uh, um, 610 medium light extra fast. And this extra fast basically gives me a lot less tip play, right? Um, it's a very fast action. So when I pop a bait, um, it, it, it just barely bends in the tip. And the difference between the way I'm working that swim bait and the way I'm working this, the way I'm gonna be working this jerk bait is I'm just gonna be going pop, 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 and keeping it real close to bottom. Um, I'm not pulling that bait up very far. I'm definitely not like pulling it or ripping it. It's very erratic. You just kind of want that bait going thump, 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 right along the bottom. Most of your bites, it's just gonna load that tip up. So fishing this, uh, this uh, medium light, basically it gives me a little bit of tip load. So when that fish is on there, a lot of times you don't feel that big jig clunk on this because you're fishing so close to bottom. Um, I like that medium light because it kind of bows that tip a little bit more than I rear back and get them. So um, yeah, that's the setup there. Extremely effective. Now, the swim bait, the way I'll be working this, and I've posted some videos on it here in the last week. 
This one I'm kind of more like a little bit more of a pull pop, right? It's kind of like a quick pop. It's not this twitch. <clears throat> it's not the twitch, twitch, twitch. It's more of this pull pop. And I'm not, I'm never taking that bait more than like a foot, foot and a half off bottom in the spring. Now in the summer, we're really going to get to cracking on these baits and rip them a lot more. But this time of year, it's just this quick little pull pop, pull pop. And you're helicoptering that bait down. And basically all that jig's doing is going, it's going up and it's just helicopter down, up, helicopter down. And uh, the 6.9 medium fast is a perfect all around rod for doing that. So um, that's kind of set up there. A couple of live bait rods. Um, I'm not a big crankbait guy in the spring. A lot of my legs don't set up for it. I don't think it's a super consistent bite a lot of times, um, but we will be doing some trolling tonight too. But that's besides the point. As far as spinning rods, reels, that's what I got going on. Um, the 7.3 medium light is gonna be my uh, um, just kind of cover water live bait rod. And then that seven foot light is gonna be my kind of surgical strike live bait jig rod. And then the 6.9 on the swim bait and the 6.10 medium light on uh, that little jerk minnow. So hopefully you guys have a great opening weekend. Hopefully this video is at least somewhat good for you guys. If you guys wanna check out any of the products I've talked about, I'll go ahead and link them down below. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching and I am getting ready to make a mountain of walleye content for you guys. Um, so make sure if you're going fishing this spring, check the channel. Probably got a ton of useful information on there. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.